In this tutorial, we'll show you some basic steps to troubleshoot network connectivity with your Mate 3. First, we need to verify that we are unable to connect to Optics RE. Click the Port button, look under Optics RE, and note the current network status. Connecting means that the unit is still attempting to connect and has not yet established a connection. If the status says connected, then your Mate 3 is able to communicate with the Optics server and you shouldn't experience any issues registering your Mate 3 with Optics. Next, verify your Mate 3 has a valid MAC address. A valid MAC address starts with 0090EAE0. If your MAC address appears to be as 00123456789A, this Mate 3 needs to be replaced. To check, press the port button from your Mate 3. Next, verify the Mate 3 is connected to a network using one of the approved methods. 1. Mate 3 connected to a Wi-Fi adapter. 2. Mate 3 connected to a wireless modem. 3. Mate 3 connected to a modem. 4. Mate 3 connected to a wireless cellular modem. Next, ensure your internet cable is not an Outback Green Cat 5. This is not a twisted pair cable, so data is susceptible to interference. If using a wire connection, ensure your internet ethernet run isn't over 50 feet, as this can potentially cause data loss, resulting in intermittent connection. If using a wireless adapter, verify distance from the main router. Next, verify your Mate 3 is loaded with the latest firmware. If not, update the firmware, then power cycle the Mate 3. Visit www.outbackpower.com for the latest firmware version. To check, go to Lock, Settings, System, Firmware Versions. Ensure your Mate 3 firmware version matches the Ethernet firmware version. If not, update the Mate 3's firmware once more. Verify Optics RE is enabled. Press up and scroll to Optics RE. Verify DHCP is enabled. Press up and scroll to the Ethernet addresses. Power cycle the Mate 3 if changed to enabled. You are all set, and thank you for watching.